So I have a bit of a problem, and that is what some might call an obsession with concrete powder. And one of my latest ideas with it was to recreate Wordle, but some of the best existing versions out there right now are either way too big, or they just don't really look like Wordle at all. So I set out to make my own version of Wordle, but instead of using actual words, the player guesses with concrete powder. Welcome my friends to Concretal. <laughs> Now, the way it's played is that you have to guess a specific sequence of colored concrete powders out of a selection of nine different colors. Then, the system will grade your guess, showing lime green for a correctly placed powder, yellow for an incorrectly placed powder, and gray for a powder that does not occur in the target word at all. The only catch is, any color of concrete powder could occur multiple times in the target word. And, if you don't guess the correct sequence within six guesses, it's game over. So let's go ahead and input a guess here. I'm going to try two orange, a blue, magenta, and a red. Hit submit, and the system will start processing our answer. You'll see that the status lamp starts flashing to indicate that the system is processing, and in just about 15 total seconds, we'll get our results. And there we have it, we've got our results and the submission we just entered, and we also got a nice little jingle to tell us the system is ready again. So it looks like we do have an orange that is correctly placed, but we don't have a second orange. We also appear to have a red and blue powder in the word, just not in the right placement. So let's go ahead and guess again using blue, orange, pink, red, and then blue. We'll hit the submit button and wait for our results. And oh, we're so close. Now we just have to rearrange the last three colors. So we know we have blue and then orange. Now let's try red, blue, and pink. And there we go. We finally got it on our third guess and we also got the target word revealed on the top left. Now, of course, everything about this game is entirely automatic, so once we hit reset, it will generate a new target word, as well as sort all of the concrete powder back into the printer's ink storage without any player intervention needed. Which brings me to my next point. How the heck does this all work? Well, frankly, there are much more wires and components here than I care to explain, so let's break it down into the few key systems. First off is the guess grading system. When you go to submit a guess, the very first thing that happens is that the system will detect whether or not you've actually placed a full word. If all five powders fall at the same time, the observers detect that and trigger an AND gate output, allowing the system to continue, and triggering the turn counter to decrement by one. Next, the player's guess is broken into items, and starts going through the item filters. So this is where our target word is actually stored. If any of the powders are a direct match, they will go through the filter and down into this dropper line and anything else will get sent over to this dropper line. If all five powders happen to be a perfect match, the win detection circuit will get triggered, allowing the system to play a winning jingle and output any prizes when it's finished processing. Now, at this point in the process, we've only detected any perfect matches. The next thing the system does is it starts moving your guess through the dropper lines one by one. Anything that wasn't a perfect match gets fed back into the item filter chamber, except this time it pushes the concrete powder over all of the hoppers. If a powder goes through a filter successfully, it gets graded as yellow, and otherwise, if it doesn't go through any of the five main hoppers, it gets graded as gray. And it's important to note that any time an item does go through a filter, that filter gets locked, preventing any other powders from going through the same filter. Now, I'm going to explain where all those powders are going in just a second, but let's talk about how that grade is actually stored and then output. So this is an array of five droppers and five locked hoppers. In each one of these droppers is nine wooden shovels, and each hopper has one wooden shovel. Each time the dropper gets pulsed, it dispenses an additional shovel into the hopper. And if a powder is a perfect match, the dropper will actually get pulsed twice. Now as the system is stepping through your guess, these droppers get a target block pushed behind them one by one. And at the same time, after each one of those droppers has gotten a chance to get triggered, the system takes a signal strength output from each hopper. Depending on how many shovels are in the hopper, it will go through this red coder and trigger one of our three grade colors. This, in turn, triggers the printer, which dispenses one of the powders until we have all five outputs. 
Now last but not least, we have to print the user's guest to the submission history panel. So as the system is processing each powder one by one, each powder makes it to this dispenser, which then ejects it over this entire array of item filters containing each possible color. Whenever an item goes through a filter, it triggers the same color powder to be pushed out of storage and into the queue. Once the queue has five total powders, the game pushes everything up for the user to see, and we also get any of the powders we guessed with returned back to the barrel. And just in case you're wondering, the reason we have gravel here is so if the user enters an invalid color as part of their guess, the printer dispenses a piece of gravel instead. Now hopefully you're still with me, because we have one more critical system to cover, the automatic reset system. So when the user hits the reset button, the first thing that happens is that the turn counter gets reset back to six, the target wear display gets retracted, and all the concrete powder currently on display falls down into these piston staircases. Once all the concrete powder has fallen, the system starts sending the powders up to the top of the game. And this is where our physical color sorters come in. And I did actually show a simpler variation of this sorter in my original falling block sorter video, but here I've pretty heavily modified it in order to be as fast and compact as possible. As you can see, as the powders are coming in, they get sorted into their appropriate slots in the printer's ink storage. If a powder doesn't match any colors on this side, it gets tossed over to the other side, where the sorter continues working until that color reaches the appropriate slot. Next, the hoppers containing our target word get cleared of their powder, allowing space for a new target word to get filled in. And this is where our randomizer comes in. As you can see, we literally just have a single dropper here with all of our colors, and this gets pulsed five times to generate our new word. Each time it gets pulsed, the powder goes over our entire item filter, which triggers a corresponding printer output of the same color. But instead of going down to the bottom output, it instead gets tossed over to our target word display. And once it makes it there, it also pushes one of the powders on the end up the elevator to get sorted back into our printer. Now, once our random powder item has gone through the main filter, it gets dispensed over to our grading chamber. So one by one, as each powder comes in, they get stored in the first hopper, and then the second hopper, and so on, until all five powders are set in place. And that's just about it. Now, I could go on about a bunch of other technical things that make this game work, but I'm sure you've gotten the gist of it. So with all of that said, I really hope everyone enjoys the game. And in order to see just how fun it actually is, I've invited my friends Jazzy Red and Gerg to come test it out. Let's see what they think. There he is. He's over here. Hello. Yes, here we go. It's a very interesting building behind you. Whoa. What's up, guys? Hello. Hey. Thank you for being Hello. here. I really like the building you've made for it. It's very fancy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I did my best to cover up all the <laughs> oh. ugly <laughs> all redstone. redstone. <laughs> oh, so it's about this big, huh? Wait, hold on. Let me go around the corner. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's about this big. Jesse, Everything you're, inside you're it. Woo! No, I'm not. It's covered. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I see. Oh, that's right. It's yeah, I thought this was like Hollywood style and it was just. Yeah, like it's, he's even done the sides. Yeah, I was expecting it just to be a big facade. <laughs> All right, so who wants to go oh. first? Oh, you're uh, both looking at me, so I'm going first. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm thinking. Right. Hmm. I'm going for a, a bit of orange. I'm feeling the orange. We'll go for a bit of yellow and a. Actually, you know what? It's probably beneficial if I put one of each, because then if I'll get wrong placements. All yes. Right. Uh, boom. Are there repetitions allowed, Michael? Uh, yeah, as the book said, a color can appear multiple times. Oh, okay. My reading so comprehension is exposed. Yeah, no, that's all right. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, oh, that is so okay. cool. So... <laughs> Yellow is correct, and magenta is correct. Okay. Yeah. Oh, when it pushes up from the bottom, you see the whole history. Okay. That's incredible. Okay. Right. Let's let's try this then. See what we get. That's that's pretty cool. How you've done the history. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna just like, yeah. push it up. Yeah. It's actually so similar to the online thing, basically. Ooh, okay. Oh. So the yellow's correct. Then, this has got green and it's got purple. If I've, tr if I've tried all the colors, that means... So there can be repetitions, right? You, you, you Yeah, there can, but you haven't tried all, you haven't tried all the colors. <laughs> am I missing one? Am I blind? <laughs> you, you're missing red. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I can try that there. And then I haven't tried green there. We know that 
see yellow there, then magenta. There's got to be a repetition, so I guess I'll I'll go for uh, green again. Boom. So I have six guesses, right? So this is my third one. Yeah, so this will be your third one. And uh, something I should mention is that the game will count the colors you put in. So say the target word only had like two blues in it and you put five blues, hmm. then only two of those blues will be uh, graded as yellow wow. or green. That, that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty. Super smart. Wait, so there's only one green and there's, it must be multiple purple, okay. Uh, well... So you've tried green in three, uh, yeah, so you know where green is now. Yeah, it has to be this slot, right? Even though this is marked gray, I think it's just, what it's done is the evaluation is marked. There's a green here, but wrong spot, and then it's marked mm -hmm. this gray because it's a duplicate. I think. I, oh, is that uh, is that how it works, Michael? Yes, that's, <laughs> that that is correct. Yeah. So that means there's only one green. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yep, 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 yep. So that means magenta mm. has to be there. Then. Wait, no. You know, I'm just gonna go for this. <laughs> we'll see if I can do this. I'm getting okay. lost in the colors. It's blinding me. Hey, you're. I mean, this is four out of six, so not not too bad. That's if I get it. Hmm. <laughs> I love that it's synchronized oh. too. It's just that little extra detail. Okay, now you know for sure where green is. Where? I I literally tried it everywhere, right? No, you so haven't. Oh. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be doing better than this at me, Jesse. <laughs> oh, no. Look, once you're behind the wheel... <laughs> it's look. hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But being behind the wheel drops like 50 IQs. Well, we know magenta's not there. But what color could it be then? Because it's only... <laughs> Maybe there's multiple yellow. <gasps> I, I haven't considered the multiple yellow. Okay, so magenta has to be there. And this has to, it has to be a yellow. This That's ultra based. I, I see no other alternative. <laughs> Come on, please. Come on. I'm, I'm nerve wracking. Hey! Oh! Woo! Wow, you got you had a tr you had a three peat. That's tough. Nice work. Oh, look at up, up there. That's so cool. That's why it's rattling my brain because I, I didn't consider the yellow duplicate yet because oh, I, I got the yellow right and I'm like, well, that's done for. Do you think you can oh, beat this, Jesse? Oh, this is epic. Five. Do I think I could beat that? Yeah. I mean, this is a really, this is a really rough uh, random randomization. So I think so, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, like a, a, a triple repeat is, is, I'm surprised you even won that actually. Okay, how do you reset? Right, so I'm going to hit reset. Okay, okay. Oh, this is the reset button marked. over here. Yeah, go for it. Go ahead. I'll hit it. There we go. Oh, I like that how they get pulled back. So sick. I really like that you have this lamp that blinks while it's while it's processing. Oh, mm. I didn't I didn't notice this because I got it correct, but I'm guessing if you get all six wrong, it reveals the, the proper word up there. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, oh, it that's does. great. That's great. Okay. All right, good luck, Jazzy. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Wait, so is it ready? I guess so, it even is though I can still hear things. It's... Okay, all right. Oh. Yeah, you can still hear things. Uh, let me just explain that. The system is still sorting the old concrete powder, yeah. uh, but you can you can still enter a new guess while that's going. Okay, yeah. What is, what is my FPS at? 44, let's go. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I'm just gonna do rainbow order, all right? Get as much as you can. Just, just rainbow order for now, okay? <laughs> And it's, it's all gonna be gray, just brr. <laughs> well, to be fair, that, I get you a lot of information. That would tell me a lot, yeah. Yeah. It would. Okay, let me put, put it in the hot bar in that order. G, B. Okay. Ooh, okay. Right. look at that. I already got one right. And then two are in it. That's awesome. Yeah, they blue. Okay, so I'm going to continue the colors <laughs> um and probably test out one of the ones that was marked yeah let's do yellow here let's try that am i reading that correctly i am okay yeah see i wasn't so i got a green i just left it i'm like well that's good see the difference between this and wordle is wordle only lets you guess actual english words 
You have a lot more freedom with this. Oh, we have a lot of repeats. Did I do all of them? Is that all the ones that are available? Okay. So, I think I did try them all. Yeah, I did. Okay, so that means it only consists... Ooh, 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 okay, okay, okay. So, green is here, for sure. You don't have any repeats. Oh, wait, you... No, I have no, you repeats. You do, you do have one, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, green is there. Yellow is... Not there. Not there or there. So, it's somewhere on the left. Yeah, 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 somewhere on the left. I'll, I'll put it all the way to the left. Um, blue is just not there, so I'll put it in this spot, I guess. Um, and I'll test for a second green. I'll I, test I yellow. I think you're reading actually. it wrong, honestly. Am I? Oh, oh. Yeah, because there, there's... Oh, 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 that's right. Anything, but, oh, know, that's there's, right. There's, there's these no, two. Yeah, there's no duplicates. Oof, okay. <laughs> that's embarrassing to have on camera. All right. Does this jukebox <laughs> automatically play music? Yeah. Okay, so this yeah, one, is automatic. this one we know is there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh wow, very indecisive. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, here we go. oh wow. Yellow, blue. So you... Oh, so I just. Yeah, it's pink. It's just too pink. It must. Wait. It must be. Uh, hold on. I should have the answer from this. <laughs> I really should. But why would the first one be gray? Oh, wait. I put in... Wait, wait, wait. I put in the wrong... I put in... Wait. I didn't... Yeah, I didn't magenta's put... Not, magenta's oh. not in I it. didn't put... I didn't put <laughs> yeah, purple. That pesky I'm thing. I'm dumb. Okay. That's cool. It's fine. Oh, jeez. See what I did? I was really not lying about this uh, drop in IQ. Hold on. We got this. Pink here purple here it's gotta be holy crap how did i miss that okay if this isn't right oh that's bad <laughs> that's bad for me i mean hey i think you'll get it with the yellow you I spelled a four it. and you would have got in four guesses oh Ooh. that even gives you there hey, you go nice. water as well Yay! Oh my gosh, two two advancements as well. Nice. Yes. Wait, hold on. One more advancement. Come on, pick it up. Yeah! Oh, whoa, look at that. I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. I really hope you all enjoyed the video, and of course, there will be a world download in the description. This project has taken me three months of a lot of painstaking effort. So go ahead, do me a favor and make sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and most importantly, subscribe as it really helps me. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting me and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.